Hey, good morning, y'all. It's about 6.30. Woke up way too early to get out here, but uh, high tide's at 7, so we're gonna go hit a couple of places just off the shore. Not too far out, maybe 20 to 40 feet deep at most. See if we can't catch ourselves some good-sized mangrove snappers. Uh, we know there's a couple big-sized mutton out there, but uh, see what we can do. <laughs> So on our way out, we noticed conditions were perfect. Flat seas, low current, great visibility. It was setting up to be a beautiful dive. After we anchored down and jumped in, I was quick to make my first drop just to kind of get a feel for the life that was down there and uh, what we we're gonna hit today. As I was descending, I noticed there was a ton of bait fish and small mangroves all over the place. It wasn't long before Austin made his first drop and slams the first fish of the day. It's a nice sized mangrove for where we were at. After seeing Austin hit the first fish, I knew it wouldn't be long before I was on one too. I spotted a mangrove down below. He was acting a little spooky with how clear the viz was. So I decided not to drop all the way down and he broadsided me, so I took the shot. And you know these fish were looking a little hot, so we took them back to the boat to cool them off a bit. Now before I could even reload my gun, I noticed a school of mackerels not too far off, so I decided to stalk them from the surface, but they weren't having any of it. On this next drop, I don't stay down too long. Uh, we had already shot two of the bigger fish that we could see, so I was just trying to get a closer look, see if there was anything else we might have looked over. That school of mackerel made another pass back, so I dropped down into the water column and try and close the gap that way. I picked the biggest fish I could see out of the school, but he turns away. Then he ends up broadsiding me again and I take my shot. Unfortunately, my band got caught up on my snap swivel and my shot fell short. That school spooked and left. Not too long after, a different school of Mackies swam right underneath me. I caught him playing top in one, but I decided not to. None of them were really all that big, so I figured I'd leave them be. 